everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while and I'm sorry about that. Today is going to be a clothing haul slash makeup haul. <laughs> um, I am trying out a red lip. Let me know what you guys all think. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo color. I've never tried a red lip before but I was at Ulta and they sell Kylie Cosmetics at Ulta and my hairstylist was here yesterday. She was doing my hair for me and she was wearing either this color or one very, very similar and it was gorgeous on her and I've always wanted to try a red lip. I've just been scared. So not only did I try a red lip today, but I'm going to film a video wearing it. <laughs> So outside of my comfort zone right now but anyways let's go ahead and get started I went to Sephora Ulta JC Penney's American Eagle Old Navy and Gymboree there's a few kids things in here but most of it is for me um, so I'll go ahead and get started with the makeup and we'll start with Ulta I first went to Sephora and these were the two things um, that Sephora didn't have that I ended up needing to go to Ulta for. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Fair Light Neutral is what I got from Ulta. Um, the swatch that I did on my palm looked really nice and I have another concealer I for I think it's by Too Faced um I like it it's okay so but I've heard a lot of good things about the Tarte Shape Tape so I went ahead and picked that up next from Ulta is the Urban Decay One and Done foundation in the shade Light so that's what I picked up from there. And this is just um, a liquid foundation that has sunscreen in it. Uh, it's just what I use on my face. Um, so that's what it looks like, the tube that it comes in. And it's a little like pump squirty tube. So that's all that I got from Ulta. Next, I'll go with Sephora. So at Sephora, I really, so normally I just wear like nude lip glosses or lipsticks. So I got the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna lip gloss in the shade Fussy. There's that. This was a really pretty color. It's what I was wearing before I went to Ulta and they put this red on me. <laughs> so it's just a shimmery nude color got some shimmer in there really really pretty pretty lip gloss and it smells like watermelon from what I can remember maybe not it smells like vanilla but I swear it tasted like watermelon when I was wearing it so yeah we'll see how that goes next at Sephora here's the bag by the way I got this Monsoor Big Lancome Mascara. I really, really like this mascara. So here's that out of the box. The tube just looks like this, and this is just black. Right? Yeah, it doesn't even say. It's just a black mascara. Nothing too fancy, but I do like how it wears, and I like how it feels. Um, I got a palette. I'm going to save that for last, though. I'm so excited about this palette. Okay. Next is the Too Faced Love Light, um, what's this called? Highlighter. <laughs> and this is in the shade, is it called Love Light? Blinded by the Light, I think maybe, might be the shade. Yeah, Blinded by the Light, and it comes in this cute little heart container. And here's what that looks like in the and I don't know if you could tell can you tell how shiny my hand is now oh yeah right there so that's what that highlighter looks like super super pretty I've never had a highlighter before and I've been wanting to try one 
So I went ahead and picked that one up and then I got a highlighter brush. This is just a Sephora branded brush number 49. So there's that. And then because of everything I got, I got this 4-in-1 Tarte setting spray. There we go. So there's that. It's just a little sample size here. And then last but not least is my Anastasia palette. Oh, guys. What the heck? So I've also never had a palette before quite like this. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I love these colors. They're so my colors. I'm so looking forward to playing with this. Ooh, the, the container that it came in is this nice velvety suede feeling. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at those colors. So, so pretty. It's got a mirror. It comes with a little brush two-sided so I'm really really excited to try this out and give it a shot and see what all eyeshadow looks I can come up with Wow it's so pretty <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so excited so that's all the makeup things that I got from Sephora in Ulta so next I'm going to move on to all the clothing I got for the kids and then I'll move on to what I got for me. So first is uh, JCPenney and what the heck JCPenney? This is like a, a grocery bag feeling bag. I was not impressed but my Sephora is in its, inside of a JCPenney's. My little one has been needing some jeans. And he hasn't quite got the hook of a button loop on jeans yet and all of his current jeans are getting way too small and are starting to get holes in the knees. So I just picked him up a new size and I was looking for the elastic waistband in jeans for button closure and that is what these are. They're just a snap button closure which will be really easy for him to transition into. So I got him these pairs of jeans in a size 6. And these are the Arizona Company jeans. And then I got him these jeans. Next is another pair of the same exact style. And then two lighter wash jeans. There's these. And then these ones. So yeah, these are all size 6 and they're all Arizona Jean Company. Uh, I think they were 50% off, so he just he needed all of his jeans replaced because all of his jeans are falling apart. So that's everything that I got from JCPenney's. Next I went to Gymboree. If you guys have little ones, you may or may not know Gymboree is closing. They are going out of business along with, I think, Crazy 8 and... Is there another company? I'm not sure if there's another company that is related to... Oh, um, I think some people were like, is Janie and Jack a part of Gymboree? And they're not, so they're not closing. But I went into the Gymboree in our mall since they're still open. I got these shorts for Justin. They're a size 14. They do have an elastic waistband. Um... So that just makes them a little bit more comfortable, but yet they're khaki, so they're casual, but not too, too casual. So, and then the next thing for Justin I got is this blue shirt, and it just says awesome in different colors. And that's in a size 14. And then two more things from Gymboree. I got Harrison this... Swing, batter, batter, swing. And on the back it says going, going, gone. And I thought that was super cute with the cactus and the baseball. And 
So he's gonna be playing baseball again this spring and I thought that that was just cute for him. And then planning ahead, this is on clearance and it's a Christmas shirt for Harrison. So this should fit him in around Christmas time next year. And yeah, I went ahead and picked that up and I'll just hold on to it until next Christmas. So that's everything I got for the kids. The last two stores I went to are Old Navy and American Eagle. So I'll start with Old Navy first. All right, well at Old Navy I got a pair of jeans for me. They're, they're like a skinny cut jean. They don't have any like hole distressing but they look a little worn on the jean. So, and these are a curvy fit. So I picked those up for me. I currently only have one pair of jeans so I decided I should probably pick myself up another. Um, and then I picked up a few workout pants and one top. Um, so these are cropped pants and they are, they're a mesh on the sides. So I picked up these black crop length workout pants and then next I picked up this black workout top. So that's what it looks like on the front and on the back is this cute little cutout and a little tie at the bottom. Super, super, super cute on. I really, really like that. And then the next thing I picked up was this matching sports bra and pants set. So the sports bra has this like rainbow bottom on here and I tried this on. The support is okay. It's not... It's not the greatest, you don't want to go like run a marathon in that sports bra, but for what I do at the gym, it's perfect. And then I picked up the matching leggings that look like this. These are a full length legging and they have the rainbow stripe down the side. I love those, those are super fun. So that's everything I picked up at Old Navy. And then last but not least is American Eagle. American Eagle was buy one get one 50% off and then I picked up a few things out of clearance So we'll get those out of the bag All right, so first item on clearance is this sweater Looks like this Has little slits in the sides here and it's just a crew neck nice pretty blush color I really really like this color and then the other clearance item I picked up is this hoodie sweater. It looks like this, the black pattern, super, super pretty blush and it's a hoodie. So it's got a hood on it and it's so, so soft. Oh, they love the tag on this one, that's annoying. Did they do that on this one too? No. Oh. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Turn it. I don't want to have to go back. I'm going to have to Google how to get this off. Guess we'll see, huh? Anyways, so I got this sweatshirt. And this was also on clearance. I think both of those sweaters were $15 each. I'm not sure. Um... And then sort of similar to the last one is this hoodie, but this is just gray and pink with the really pretty pink pocket on the front. This sweater was so cute on. I loved it. It was so cute. I tried it on with um, one of the jean skirts that American Eagle has right now and it was so, so cute. I didn't end up getting the jean skirt. I think I'm going to wait until it's just closer to spring. It's Seems silly to buy something I wouldn't be able to wear for a few months right now anyways. And then the last but final thing, this again wasn't on clearance, but this was part of the buy one, get one 50% off. So I just got this gray t-shirt and the sleeves are rolled a little bit. So yeah. So that's everything I got in my little shopping haul. Again, I went to Ulta, Sephora, Jamboree, Old Navy, and American Eagle. I think I 
Yeah, I left out and I'm so excited to play with my new makeup and see what I can come up with. Again, let me know what you guys think of the red lip. It's way out of my comfort zone, something I don't normally wear, so I'm curious to hear what you all think. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Click that like button if you liked today's video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm, I hope you guys like it. You don't tear me apart too much if you don't. And please subscribe. I'd love to have you guys stick around. And I will see you in the next video.